let's get started hello everyone welcome to the today's live session let me see who's gonna jump on today if you're watching my live for the first time my name is ronica and i help business owners to save anywhere from five thousand up to a hundred grand on their taxes and now that's a lot of money in your pocket that's a lot of savings now for today we're going to look at some of the biggest lies or misconception in the business owner market when it comes to taxes and accounting. So there's a lot of things that people believe that are completely not true. And I don't know where a lot of that information comes from, but I'm here to clear it all up, give you all the facts so that you can make better decision. So for today, we're going to look at one of the biggest misconceptions in the market. And one is that most people believe that when they get their taxes done, the tax preparer or whomever they're working with is helping them to pay as little as possible. So that's a big, so basically what this is saying is when you go get your taxes done, you think that the tax preparer is helping you to pay as little as possible or to get the best refund as possible. But this is not actually true. The reason why this is not true is because of two limitations. And I'm talking about people that own uh, mostly for business owners, for W-2 employees, your boss already withhold all your taxes and all of that stuff. So this is mostly for people who own businesses, people who need to make be making estimated payment, people who are working to grow their businesses. So there are two things that affects that decision. And this is why people cannot help you to lower your tax during tax time when they're filing your return. The number one reason is Tax season is only to submit your forms to the IRS. So start to burst any one bubble. If anyone is promised you tax savings during tax season, they can't do anything. They can't do anything just because of one big reason. Hold on, my phone is ringing here. Um, because of one big reason. And the reason is, as a taxpayer, your tax... Your tax timeline starts January 1st and it ends December 31st. So everything needs to happen during that during that time. Someone keeps calling me. Hold on, let me tell them to stop calling me or I can just put my phone on mute. Do not disturb. Sorry about that. <laughs> but anyways, so your tax deadline is, is January 1st to December 31st. So everything needs to happen during that time. You have to move the cash. You need to um, change your structure. So everything needs to happen during that time. So if it doesn't happen, when it comes time to file your taxes, there's nothing that they can do. Because guess what? Even though tax season is January through to April, or if you file an extension, it goes on to September or, or October, that only look at things that you've already done back the previous year. So that's why during tax season, they can't really help you. The only thing that you can do is put more money in your IRA or your SEP account. That's the only thing. So since a tax preparer or CPA cannot help you to save money on your taxes during tax season, what is the other option that you have? And this is today's tip that what you need to do to talk to your provider, your CPA, your accountant, your tax professional, your tax guy, your tax gal, whatever you call them, at least one time during the year. At least one time. So June 15th is coming up. That's when the Q2 estimated payment is due. September is coming up. December is coming up, so make sure you check with it with them at least at one point during that time. So you can go ahead right now and schedule that time on your calendar that if you have a business that's growing, if you're making money, or if you're a new business owner, you want to at least check in with your provider 
before December 31st so that they can help you to move things around, to plan more strategically so that come tax time, you're not there thinking, oh my God, what's going to happen? It's not supposed to happen that way. Only small business owners operate that way that way. I grew up in tax planning and I know I work with a lot of high net worth individuals and large corporations and I can tell you that they don't operate that way. They get all their ducks lined up, they plan during the year and tax season, they're stress free, they're just relaxing because they have everything all worked out and they just use tax season to submit the forms. So get out of this um, tax filing mindset and go ahead right now and schedule some time with your tax provider so that they can help you to save some mo money. Because remember what I said that they can't help you to save any money. If they're promised to help you save any money, it's not true. So you have to do everything from January 1st to December 1st for it to have any impact. But anyways, that's it for today's video. Remember, the only way to save money on taxes is to implement a tax savings plan. And also, if you're gonna go ahead and schedule an appointment, some of the questions that you can go ahead and ask is, you know, this is what's going on in my business. I'm making, you know, 100,000 more this year. You know, how much, how much, how can you help me to reduce my taxes? How much is this? So for instance, they say, okay, if you go ahead and implement this strategy, you can save. How much will it help me save? Um, what do I need to do in order to get this? So these are some of the questions um, that you can go and ask. So, but anyways, remember the only way to save money on taxes is to have a tax savings plan. Have a good day.